hi guys welcome back to the channel again and today i have another amazing video for you guys i want to show you how you can make a lot of money thousands of dollars selling low content books on amazon right and here is what we are going to cover in this video um, i'm going to tell you what um, low content books are and how i'll show you how to create your amazon kdp account to get started and i will share some success tips with you and some amazon kdp rules you must abide by and also i'll show you step by step how you can create your low content book um, together in this video we are going to create a notebook that will upload to amazon kdp and then before we wrap up the video guys so it's going to be an interesting video i want you to follow through I want you to pay attention i'm i'm going to share a lot of um, tools and websites with you that will make the whole stuff very easy for you such that you don't have to do much work right and the reason why i like this business is because it can form a passive income for you because you just create this product and upload them to um, your amazon account and then it, it keeps bringing you money right and the work you are doing, the whole work you are doing to create the product is relatively not too much, right? So it's such an amazing business that if you give it little time, you can make a lot of money doing it, right? So if this is your first time of coming to the channel, you're welcome. My name is Manuel. And what I do on this channel is to create videos that will help you make money online. And if you come over here, you see there are a lot of videos here that will help you if you are somebody who does business online or you want to start doing business online this channel is for you so i welcome you to join the family subscribe to the channel and also turn on notifications so that anytime i upload a new online money making video you get notified by youtube first right and also um if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a like um click the thumbs up button below so that a lot of persons get to discover what you're about to learn here right so first of all let's get started now what are low content books you know the usual books that we know you have to write and fill in the pages and have a lot of content that people can consume and get knowledge get educated get value from it but low content books or sometimes um no content books are books that are almost empty right um, there's almost nothing that people will read inside and usually there are either notebooks journals drawing books and all of that right so for instance let me visit amazon.com let me show you example of what i'm talking about so here on amazon if i change the category here to books let me search for books all right to books and for instance i type in notebook right let's say notebook journal and then you can see all the stores we have here this year i will and all of that so for instance if i open this and then you check the inside okay this there's no preview of what is inside let me get another one all right, let me open this and see. So for instance, this, let's just call the title of this is, um, this year I will, a 52 week guided journal to achieve your goals. So it's just a simple journal. And um, as you can see, um, the content inside are not much, just lines and just a few words, just a few words and line, few words and line and all of that right so this is how low content um, products look like so basically you are not writing anything all you just have to do is to create um products that people can use maybe journals notebooks drawing books and all of that right um let me check one last one okay let me check this for instance and then if i try to open it you can see how the inside looks like nothing inside right so no writing no too much text and all of those stuff right so or if i come here and search for planner 
okay let's say 2022 planner and um as you can see this is a gold plan okay let me check this um healthy plus happy planner 2022 okay you can see a preview of what we have in the inside of this planner here right so basically you can create templates calendars and all those stuff that people can print out and write on or fill and then you make money without um, putting too much energy and putting too much knowledge into the whole stuff right and the way this works basically is all you need is creativity right you just have to bring your creativity to the table and then you can create hundreds of these products and they will be making money for you right so that's what low content books are so the next step let me show you how to create your amazon kdp account right um i've created a video before on this channel on how to get started on amazon kdp this video here right so if you've seen that video before or you already you already have your amazon kdp account you might not need this process right but if you're a complete beginner um, i'll just show you how to create your own kdp account right here before we continue right and if you already have your kdp account just follow the time codes in the description and jump to the next section of this video right so to create your amazon kdp account all you just have to do is to come to kdp.amazon.com right i also um, leave the link in the description to make it easier for you right so visit kdp.amazon.com and as you can see um, by the right here you see the option to either sign in or sign up right if you already have an account you want to sign in if you are new to amazon kdp you have to sign up right so i'll just click the sign up button right so here you just enter um instead of signing in again you don't want to enter email and phone number and password you come down to create your kdp account okay so here you enter your name let me just enter my name and um, my email address right and then you want to create a password then you want to enter your password again okay then you click create your kdp account okay i've already used this email before let me see okay so i'll just use this email and then enter my password and enter the password again and then click create your kdp account right here there's a solve the puzzle to protect your account um click the spiral galaxy is this okay pick this again and then pick this all right so here you need to verify your email address right so i'll just check my email to get the one-time password all right so this is the code i'll just copy and then bring it here and paste then click verify all right so you'll be required to enter your phone number so i'll just select my country which is nigeria um okay this is it then i'll enter my phone number as well then once you've done that you want to click add mobile number right then the code will be sent to your phone number you just check your phone number for the code so let me just check this phone all right so here after you've done that you want to agree to their terms and conditions you click agree all right so your account has been created successfully you just have to complete some verifications right so to do that what you want to do is you want to click um where you have a notification your account information is incomplete you want to click update now here you require to enter your address your um 
bank details your tag details and all of that right so that's just what you want to do so for me to do that you need to verify your phone number again and i will just do that and then i'll get the code again right then i'll click continue so the first step is which country region do you live in so i'll just enter my country here which is nigeria right then you want to enter your name and every other detail about yourself then you want to enter your address also you need to enter your code so for your postal code if you don't know it you can google your postal code and you get it right so also you need to enter your phone number again and i'm just going to do that here all right so once you filled in your personal details the next is how you want to get paid right so you want to enter where your bank is located now if you are doing this from nigeria you should be using pioneer right and if you don't have a pioneer account just come over to my channel here and i have a tutorial that will show you how to create your pioneer account so you just watch that and enter your pioneer details right so where your bank is located definitely your bank will be located in the us then you fill in all the details pioneer will provide all these details for you right so once you've entered all your details you want to click on add all right so that is done then you want to complete your tax information right so to fill in your tags, I already have an Amazon KDP account, but I'm just doing this to show you guys the process, right? So it's not as if I'm creating a real account. So to enter your tax classification, just use individual, right? Then are you a city, US citizen? Um, just enter no, right? Then are you acting as an intermediary agent? No, this is your account, right? Then you want to enter your tax um, identity information. You enter your name you select your country um let me just select the country um okay so all right so then the next point where a lot of you guys have an issue is for your tax identification number right so you want, uh, definitely you check um i have a non ux um tax identification number right and then what you want to do here is to enter the, the number on any government issued ID that you have, right? Because probably you might not have a tax identification number, especially if you are doing this from Nigeria, right? So you could enter the number of any government issued ID card that you have, right? So once you've done that, you hit on continue, then they say claim of tax treaty benefit and all of that blah 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 you confirm okay then you do not appear forget about that then you scroll down you consent to provide electronic signature and all of that right so for your signature you just enter your name today's date is here already and you want to click save and preview right so you just preview all of these details here and then you submit the form and then um exit interview so once you are done with this you will get an account id right so you want to come back to your bookshelf um so here is how your new account will look like now that we've created we've successfully created your amazon kdp account congratulations now the next thing for us is to start creating uh, the low content product that you'll be uploading to amazon that will make you a lot of money right so to create your product in this video there are a lot of low content and no content products you can create actually but in this video i'll show you step by step how you can create a notebook or a journal that you can sell right 
Now, before we go ahead to creating your product, there are some Amazon KDP rules that you must abide by, right? And one thing about Amazon is their priority um, is the customer, right? They want to make the customer happy, right? They want to ensure 100% customer satisfaction. And if you want to enjoy the platform, if you want to make a lot of money and a lot of profit, you want to make that your priority in this business as well, right? You want to ensure that everything you do is geared towards ensuring that the customer gets hundred percent satisfaction right and one way you can do that is by bringing in quality product right if you, you, the product you create are good customers will leave good reviews for you and that will help you make more sales but if you create bad product poor quality product customers will definitely leave bad reviews for you and that will really kill your amazon business and might even lead to your account being banned right and also you don't want to infringe copyright um, boundaries right you want to ensure that you are uploading your original work right so you don't go and copy other people's work either on amazon or outside amazon and just dump it on your kdp account that way um, your account is going to be banned right so you want to ensure that everything you bring in to your account um, is a, your own creation right you put in the work you put in the effort to come out with something unique there are tools that will make it very easy for you but you don't want to be lazy about that and then just um uh, without paying attention and then dump everything on the platform right you will get kicked out of the platform and then all your efforts you've made or all the money you, you you've made before um you are going to lose all right so you want to make sure you abide by these rules right and also let me come back here um when creating your product right you want to make sure you are creating products in um a market that will give you chances of success right and one way you can do that is by coming to this amazon search box and you see by entering planner 2022 i'm getting auto suggest for what people are searching for the most so these suggestions that you are seeing here are um, the most search terms when it comes to planner 2022 so you want to take advantage of this when creating your product right so let's say if i want to create a planner now i can decide to create planner 2022 notebook um, planner 2022 weekly and monthly and all of that so if i check this for instance um, this suggestion simply shows that there's a demand for them this is what customers are going to search for right so you can see some of the products we want here right so even though you don't want to copy other people's work you can draw inspiration from other people's work right so you can pick some ideas that you can implement on your product right also one way to check if a niche is profitable is if i click on this for instance this um 2022 monthly weekly planner for activity directors and all of that right and if i scroll down you can see what you want to watch out for um the best sellers ranking that's the bsr right this is over 200,000 naira, which is uh sorry this is over 200,000, right which is not too good right before you pick a product to create you want to ensure that the first product that is ranking for that keyword has less than 100,000 bsr right that's to show you that a lot of people are buying those products but if it's way too high like this that means um the demand for it is not uh, much right and as you can see it's not ranking too high for these two keywords that is ranking for okay so you want to put all those things into consideration before you pick a product to create right so for this video right now i'm going to guide you we're going to create um, a notebook together and one thing about amazon kdp is you want to work with seasons right because people go to amazon depending on the season to search for what they want right so now today is the time of recording this video is that first of january 2022 that means tomorrow will be february and that means um valentine is around the corner and one thing people will be going people will be searching for 
a valentine gift and all those things that have to do with valentine and love so right now um i'll just open the notepad just watch me and you can also follow as well to create your own product i'll just open a document here so the first thing i'll have to do is to enter the title right now this not this will not be the title that i'll use on amazon but this is going to give me an idea of what to work with right so let's say i want to create a notebook for february okay journal diary um best valentine gift for the person you love right so you see i'm taking advantage of um the valentine season that is coming so people start preparations from this period and then when they go to amazon to search for valentine gifts february journal and all those things uh my title will likely come up at the top in search right so let me do it this way 16 by 9 lined notebook so let's say this is what i want to work on right so the first thing you want to do is to visit this website i also leave a link to this website in the description and the website is called bookboat.io right so let me say bookboat.io right so you can actually use it for free but if you want to enjoy more features on this website you want to create your account and become a member of this website right but if you want to get started for free um but i recommend you upgrade to the paid plan you know since this is a free tool um the competition for the resources will be very high right so it will take extra activity for you to bring out your original work right if this is a business you want to do you want to send um make some investment into it right so to get started once you are on this page right you want to come to resources and you click on interior wizard So here what you need to do is you click on interior wizard and as you can see these are just notebooks templates journal templates calendar templates and all of those things so you don't have to go and start creating all these things again right so it's already here for you you can just select whatever the product you want to create you can just select it but as you can see some of the best resources here are for members only so you have to create an account before you to be able to use all these ones that are locked right so for me to do this right now all i have to do is to select this right and then the measurement you want to enter should be six by nine inches right that's the measurement you want to use then for the page count i will just use one right i will show you why i'm using one um later on in this video right so I'll download this. All right. Then the next thing I want to do is to download this to my computer. So I'll just name this Valentine Notebook. All right, so once I've downloaded it, the next thing you need to do is to visit canva.com, right? So the link to Canva will also be in the description. I've also done a lot of tutorials on Canva on this channel. You can check them out if you don't know how to use Canva. But Canva is a very cool tool that helps you with um, content work like this, right? So just visit canva.com. I already have Canva here. If you don't have Canva yet, just sign up with the link in the description so that you can get started. It is also a free tool, right? You enjoy the free plan, but you also enjoy the paid plan of Canva more because you get more resources, okay? So here, what you want to do on Canva is to create a custom design. If I click create design here and I click custom design, um, I want to change the measurement to inches and then I enter 16, 6 by 9 then you want to create new design 
So right now, what we need to do is to design our book cover and the back cover, right? So now, when designing your Canva, like I've told you before, Amazon KDP is a very, very strict platform, right? Um, and they don't joke with some kind of things like having um, pirated images on your work and all those stuff. So you want to make sure all the all the resources you are using on your design have a touch of creativity from you, right? And also you cannot just go to Google and get images and use on your design, right? So you want to use copyright free website. You either use pixels.com, pixabay, freepix.com, or you can use Pinterest as well, right? So you want to make sure that you have the right to use all the resources you are using on your product, right? So for me to do that, I will just come over and search for book cover, right? Or I'll add love in the beginning since I'm creating a Valentine related some, uh, product. Okay, I'm just searching. Okay, I think I can use this. Right, so what I want to do here, I'll delete all of these write ups that are here. Right, delete all this as well. And delete all this as well. Right, then I'll come over to text. And then what I will do here is to bring in this. I'll just use this. And then I'll change the text. I'll change this to February. Then I'll have to reduce the font size. Right. Then this to 2022. Um, then I'll change this. Black stands out the most. Then just okay. Let me just leave it this way. Um. Then um. I can bring this. Let me just search for I love you. Now, one thing I do when I use Canva to create KDP products is um, I stay away from paid resources, right? Especially if you're on the free plan, you want to stick to the um, resources that you have at your disposal. So I'll just delete this as well so that I can have my. Okay, seems I have to bring that back, but then I will probably reduce the transparency. Basically, what you want to do is you want to ensure that this, what you are creating belongs to you, right? So let me see, I'll leave this this way. All right, so let's say this is what I have for my notebook cover. As you can see, what we, are, what we have here is beginning to make more sense, more sense, more sense, right? So this is my cover. Then I'll just duplicate this page to create the back of my book. And then I'll just delete all these write-ups here. Okay, I'll just basically, I'll delete everything here. And then the color, um, I'll use pink for the back color, right? So this nice enough. Uh, let me just use, the shade of okay so i have this now so this my covers both the front and the back cover so what i'll do now is to save this as a png file right if you follow everything that i'm showing you right here um, you have a business for yourself you have an online business for yourself 
you can create hundreds some people even have thousands of notebooks and all these low content products on sale right and that does not mean if you create thousands of low content products you you have all of them selling very well right but the more product you have the more chances of you have many successful products right so if you have let's say 100 uh, low content products on amazon you might have 5 10 doing very very well right so if you have 1000 you might have um about 50 doing very very well right so the more product you have the more money you make right but don't exaggerate it okay so if you follow this tutorial this is a complete tutorial if follow this tutorial here you have an online business for yourself already right so i have finished designing my book cover let me just extract it, it downloaded as a zip file so i'll just extract what i have there so that i can make use of it when the time is right okay so that's my cover and back cover now the next thing we need to do is to create the inside of our book okay and remember we've already downloaded um a page from bookbolt.com and that's what we'll be using and to do that we'll come back to canva home and still use the same um, six by nine template and click create new design now for the inside of my book i'll have about 30 pages right so let me just pull up my calendar so february has 28 days right so i'm going to have about 31 pages in the inside of my book right and that's because for the first page i have a purpose for it the second page i have a purpose for it then we'll have um remember it's a journal for the whole of february so we'll have um every day in january inside then the last page right so what i'm going to do here is i'll duplicate this page duplicate this page as well right and then um what i'll do here remember we downloaded a pdf um, file from bookbook.com we need to do something before this step we need to convert the pdf file to a jpeg file right and to do that um, i'll use a website called ilovepdf.com so what i want to do right here is to convert the pdf i got from bookboat into um, a jpeg file right so that i can import to canva and then do the um, editing i need to do so i'll select the pdf file so this is it here that I titled Valentine Notebook. I'll just bring it, right? And then click convert to JPEG. And then just download my JPEG image. As you can see, very, very simple. All I just have to do is to take note of this website that I'm mentioning. These are the websites that make this whole stuff very easy for me. So I can sit down within an hour and I've created a notebook, I've created a journal, I've created a planner, right? so just take note of this website they'll really make this very very easy for you i'll also leave them in the description so that you don't forget right so then i'll come back to canva then what i need to do now is to import the jpeg um, that i just created all right so once i've done that i can just bring it into my work and then i can just expand expand the whole stuff to cover the whole page right so um then here what i want to do is um okay i'll bring in the date i need the date for all this so let me search for date here remember it's a journal and we need to have every day of the month here right so delete the subject right so the dates we'll have february 1st 
2022. Okay, so let's say I have the date. Um, also, I need to change not October. We should have February instead. Right, so have this. And also, since it's a love package, I'll need to bring some touch of love, some touch of Valentine. Then I'll come to elements and then I'll just search for heart. Right, so um bring this in and then just place it at the middle of the old stuff. And then I'll just reduce the transparency so that it's just somewhere in the middle of the book, right? Then I'll also want to bring in this. Then um, bring it to the bottom here. All right, so I have this. I think this is enough. Right, so this is the kind of creativity you want to add to your work, okay? This is the kind of creativity you want to add to your work. So I can just duplicate this page. I'll change this to 2nd of February. Duplicate. So I'll just do all of these till I have 30 pages. So I'll just pause this video for a moment so that I'll not waste your time on this. And then I'll change the date to... Um, a very orderly manner before i resume the video again right so see you in a moment all right welcome back so i finished um with all the pages and now we have a complete journal for february from february 1st till the 28th of february 2022 right so this is awesome now apart from the money you make you actually have fun um doing all these stuff okay so now remember i told you i had plans for the first page so i'll just bring this for my first page and um, enlarge it okay so if using this i'll use this instead then also i'll bring in a text and i love you text All right, so let me look for, okay, let me use this. All right, so have this here. Okay, so I think this should do. Then on the next page, I'll have, um, I'll bring in this text. Then let me just give space. All right, so you have an awesome product here and you want to put this level of creativity and more when you are creating your own product, okay? Because one thing you want the most, apart from the money you want to get is you want to get as many positive reviews as possible right if you do that your products are going to sell themselves right with little effort on your part so you want to give people the best so i'll just put this and then um then this too all right so here we go and then um again i'll just duplicate this page and take it to the last so to make the movement easier i'll just come over here so as you can see as i predicted we have 31 pages in all then um, i'll just move this the last page 
Now this will be the page before the final cover. All right, so let's say yes it. Okay, awesome. Awesome. All right, so also I will need to add colors to these blank pages. So I'll just do that. And then our book is ready. Okay, so let's say I'm done with my notebook. The next thing I have to do is to download it in a very good quality. And what you want to do is you want to use PDF print. Okay. So as you can see, Canva gives you several options to download your work, but because your customers are going to be printing this to write on, you use PDF print to get the best quality, and then we'll click on download. All right, so my PDF file just finished downloading. Now we have just one more step before we go on to upload on Amazon, right? And that's creating our paperback cover, right? So already it's quite easy for us already um, because we've, we've created our um, cover, we created the designs for our covers already. So all you just have to do is to create um, the back cover. So let me just rename my PDF file here. So let's let me just call it notebook. All right. So to create our back cover, um, all you just have to do come over to your browser and visit cover Amazon download. Right. Just visit cover Amazon download. And what we want to do is to download the perfect cover um, template that we are going to use for um, our product right so you select the measurement and remember the measurement we are using is six by nine inches and our book has 31 pages then um you want to select either color cream or whatever you want so let me just select cream so that it has some color on it then i'll click um download cover template all right so book cover template has been downloaded i'll come to my downloads again um, just to extract the file. All right, so here is what we downloaded. Then at this point, we come back to Canva again. So let me just open this to show you so that you clearly understand what I'm about to do. So let me just open this. I hope you guys are getting value from this tutorial. All right. So, and if you are, make sure you give this video a like. That will really go a long way. I really appreciate that. All right. So, now here is the temp measurement we want to use six by nine, and then the spine will be uh, 0 0.1. Right. So, um, this six inches means from here to here. That's um, the width, I think. Then the nine inches is the height right then this 0 0.1 inches that we have here is this um, spine section here right remember we have two sides the front and the back right so six plus six will be 12 then plus the spine which is 0 0.1 we have 12.1 okay so that's the measurement we are going to use so i hope you understand the calculation so that you can use it anytime you are creating your own design right so we have 12.1 by nine then we'll click create a new design then we'll have the perfect template for um, the notebook we've created okay all right all right all right all right now the next thing you want to do is to import the template we just downloaded from amazon all right so i'll go to downloads and then um i'll get book covers here and this is it okay so they said our image is more than 25 mb so i'll just reduce the size um, which is not a big deal just come to edit so i'll just resize it here and then i will reduce it by 50 and then save it so the file is now just less than 300 kilobytes right then i'll come back to canva and bring it again so here we have it 
then I'll just import it to my work. Right, so what you want to do is to fill your workspace with it. Right, then the next you want to do, um, come to element and then you come over to grids and then you bring in this rectangular grid. So I'll just reshape this um, to fit in to our template here. Basically, if you pay attention, you understand what I'm doing, right? And if you miss any point, all you just have to do is to pause this video and rewatch the step and you understand perfectly what I'm doing, right? Because I'm going into all the details All right. Okay, so let me just check that everything is in place. All right. All right, so here we are. And then the next thing I just have to do is to upload my covers and the back, right? So I'll come over to downloads and um, I've already done the covers already. So I'll just bring this and then bring it into my work, right? Then bring in the back. I hope I've made this um, this whole stuff simpler for you um, because I really need you guys to get this right then the next thing for the spine I can just come over to shapes and bring in this shape here to cover the spine of the book Right, then I'll just change the color. All right, so we have this. All right, so this is what we have, right? And I believe this is beautiful enough. And then I'll just save it as a PDF file as well. And then I download. So our cover is ready. Our notebook is ready. You see, although it took time, but then I think this didn't take more than one hour, right? So you can just create a product in one hour and you have it live on Amazon, right? So we are done with all the things we need to create. Now is the time we'll go over to Amazon and then upload our notebook there, right? So all you just have to do is log into your Amazon account. So now to upload our notebook, just come over to your account and select. If you come to Bookshare, this way you see this your home dashboard. You select paperback. So for the first step, you want to enter the details of your paperback. If your language, you can select your language is here, right? But the language I'm using is English. Then for your book title, um, I could use um, February 2022. Um, let me say six by nine lined notebook. Journal. Yeah, we 
Fecha. All right, so this is what I have here, right? Now, because I've been doing this, um, coming up with the title is not an issue for me, right? But for you, you might need to check other, other products on Amazon, right? And then you want to search, you want to um, pick ideas from all these um, products here, right? So it would help you, right? But I'll just use this for my title. Subtitle is optional if you want to then um series this optional that's if you are creating a product into a series um edition number optional as well author you can decide to use your name and you can decide to use another name um let me just use my name right then um if they are contributors you add them here um description you write what your book is about right so once you enter the description of your book as you can see i'm just using a very short description um you want to enter on the publishing right then you want to enter the keywords for your product right and for the keywords what you want to do again is to come over to amazon.com and enter the keyword for your product right for example, I have February. Notebook. So um, let me see what I have here. Or oh, let me search for Valentine gifts. All right, so we have Valentine's Day Notebook. So you see what people are searching for. Valentine's Day Notebook 2022, Valentine's Day Notebook for Women, and all those stuff. So the first is Valentine's Day Notebook 2022, and I'll enter that here. Then I also have valentine day notebook gift right i also enter that here okay then the next one is valentine day journal i'll enter that here you guys should go ahead and give this video a like because I believe you are enjoying what is going on here. So Valentine's Day notebook for her. I also enter that here. So basically your keywords are the words you want to rank for. Right? So notebook for her. Right? Then the next one, um, Valentine's Day notebook gift girl. Um, Valentine's the notebook gift girl right then the next one is going to be um let's see okay let me enter valentine's day notebook for teachers valentine's day notebook for teachers and then i just need one more um let's see let me use valentine's day notebook for women have i used that no i have not so i'll just use that so this is how you get your keywords for your product right then category um you want to select the category for your product my category i can just enter um so i'll just search for books um okay as you can see diaries and journals here i'll select diaries and journals and then let me see if i can find another one select friendship as well 
right so once you've checked all of this you want to save and continue right okay there are some errors please fix the highlighted errors let me see okay sorry um the name is supposed to be here all right so once i've done that i'll save and continue okay so that is successful um, the next you want to do is you want to get a free KDP ISBN number, right? You don't want to go through all of that stress. Um, let Amazon just do that for you. Um, publication date is optional. You can just leave that. Then the print options, you can print black and white, right? And um, you can print black and white with white paper depending on what you want so i'll just go with this right then you select six by nine no bleed um paperback and all of that right so the next you want to do is upload your paperback manuscript now this way you bring in your pdf file that's the main the inside of your notebook okay so here is it and then let it just upload All right, so manuscript uploaded successfully. The next thing we need to do is to upload a cover, right? So I'll click upload your cover, right? Then we'll bring in our cover, I think this is it. So that is also successful, right? All right. So my cover does not include barcode, so I'll just leave that. So you want to launch previewer, you want to have a preview of what your work looks like. So let's just see that before we proceed. So once Amazon checks your work and it meets all the measurements, um, your book will be approved, right? And if you are just doing this for the first time, you might have issues um getting your work approved due to measurement errors and all of that in that case all you just have to do is to follow the corrections that they are pointing for you and do the necessary corrections and you'll be true right so if the automatic check went through they'll have to review it manually again but at this point all you just have to do is to click on approve that means everything is in order right all right so um we've done past all of this the next thing you want to do is to save and continue right as you can see they are showing you the printing cost here and all those stuffs all those stuffs right so you save and continue all right so at this point um territories you want to leave it at worldwide you want people to be able to buy your book from anywhere in the world right then primary marketplace leave it as amazon.com then for selecting your price um the best price range is between 499 to 699 so i'll just use um 4.99 usd right so as you can see the different charges um how much will come to you per sale right but if i use 699 here you see i'll be able to get two dollars for every sale right so i'll just use 299 for it and then um uh, you see the terms and conditions can take up to 72 hours for your book to be available for purchase on on amazon until then book status will be in review and all of that so once you are done with all these steps finally your book is ready for the market and all you have to do is to click publish your paperback right and once amazon reviews it and they pass it your book will be on amazon for sale and if you get everything right you are going to make a lot of money in passive income right so this is what i have here and i can just create an ebook if i want to and all of that so basically that's all for you to set up your own low content amazon kdp business right and i believe you implement this and i believe this will become 
um this will produce good results for you right and i also want to thank you for watching it's been a very long video but you stick to the end i really appreciate that and if you appreciate the value you got in this video make sure you give it a like and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section of this video also i'll be creating more amazon kdp videos to help you on your journey and also if you are yet to subscribe to the channel make sure you subscribe to, uh, before you leave so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos on this channel right so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video